that we really want should find out what it is is happening within relationship when a when a when a father and a mother wake up and the, and the son should go to stay with a stepmother or a stepfather. What is happening? Where 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 is the family value? Where is where is all of that gone? Where is the respect? Where is the love? Where all of that gone so till a kill is a death is reached up? That like a youth is the most humblest like a youth I ever don't try to blame anyone. Blame yourself. Blame yourself. You train the child you, the way you want the child to grow. Too, mon, too many crimes are happening in Jamaica. Too many crimes. What's What Jamaican is a place for you to listen to the latest news and discussions out of Jamaica. Feel free to comment, share thoughts and ideas on What's What Jamaican. If you subscribe, you can be part of this community. I appreciate your help by sharing my YouTube to others. Every day we get up and we talk about the crimes. Sometimes we think we are moving forward when we hear that um, they are trying to, the government is trying to collect the guns. Um, they are going to do this, they are going to change that, they are going to put restrictions on certain things. Um, and you know it doesn't even excite us when we hear this because every single day when we put one step forward we put ten steps backward sometimes when I listen to the killings in Jamaica I am just heartbroken crime is at all time high in Jamaica now it is in the schools kids do not you know first time when we were children we used to fight we used to do fist fight if we are women we grab each other's hair if we are men if we are boys we fist fight now people don't use fist anymore they use guns and knives. Now school is very unsafe. Look at this. School just start. School just start in Jamaica. And look at all the crimes. The killings and the cutting up and, and the stabbing on all these things going on in this school. People nowadays. Nowadays. Some people nowadays. Which I thought it was in my mother's days are having more children than they control they can control i know i might get the heat for this but it is true they're having more children than they can can control more kids that they can train more kids that they can provide for why have all these kids when you can't control them Kids are hungry. They go to school. They, they are violent. Kids don't can't wear the same type of clothes. Wear the same type of shoes like other kids. This can cause them to feel less than other children. And then they act out. Man, birth control is free in Jamaica. It's free in Jamaica and I cannot understand. I am watching some of these YouTubes, you know. And believe me, I am not in sympathy when they say a woman of this has children and show the, 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 what their life is like. I don't feel sorry for those people. If I see a woman of two, it's understandable. You have one and you make the mistake and you have another one and you know you can't afford it. I am more in sympathy with a woman of one or a woman of two than a woman of five, six, seven, eight. You know you can't afford it. Birth control is free. It's not costing anything for you to take birth control and control your life and control and, and to prevent you from bringing kids up that you can't control. These kids, when you have so many kids, these kids tend to lose, to run loose. People don't go to church anymore. 
They don't go to church anymore where their kids can learn some form of discipline. They go to school, the teachers can't talk to them anymore. Their neighbors, if their neighbors see them doing anything wrong, they have to look the wrong way. And these are some of the issues that is surprising to, to me. And this is why I say I might get the heat for talking about these women with a lot of children. My father was born in 1912. My mother had a lot of kids, but I do understand why a lot of kids in those days. And my mother, my father said to me one day, remember, you know, he was born in 1912. He died in 1989. He said to me, he looked at me one day and he smiled and he said, hmm. Why? If then did had any something there when, when, when his wife, in call, call her G, when G was having kids, if then did had any something with they had no, all you wouldn't born. No, he was born in 1912 and he knew that if birth control was in at the time, he would have let his wife have birth con get birth control and then the, the last set of children would not have been born. Now is 1920, in the 1920s. And you tell me, people are having children, four, five, six, seven, eight. They can't feed one. But they have nine or ten. And then they blame people. They blame people for not helping them with their children. They blame the government for not helping them with their children. When they did themselves did not take the responsibility of not having so many kids. And I, I can say this. I can say this. Because I could have been any of those women. Because I have two children. And I raised my children as a single person. So I have, I know what I'm talking about. I am not going by someone who say, okay, a mother and father together who has children together. I, I'm thinking of myself as a single person. And I made the decision the common sense tells me that if I have a third child, that child will suffer. So I know what, when I'm saying this, I know what I'm talking about. My mother was a disciplinarian. And I do, my father was more like he was never home because he worked so hard for us. So he was always, he only come home at nights. And my mother did all the discipline. She never joked with us because she knew she had a lot of kids and she didn't want any criminals. So she made sure she disciplined us. You can't, you can't hit a child anymore. Everybody pet kids and everything that a child want these days, they get it. A child has to learn the word no, no, no mommy can i have this daddy can i have this if you cannot afford it then you don't try to go out of your way to give the child because you're spoiling the child you might be raising the child as a future criminal so and when you say no no is what no means no even sometimes when you have it and you can give it to the child and it's not necessary, you should say no. Because kids are just doing whatever they want nowadays. And the kids of today will be the men and women of tomorrow. And you have to train your child the way your child, you want your child to grow. You have to train your child to be respectable. 
to love. Because without love, to have a conscience, because without love and conscience, you have no feeling for other people. And this is why I say because it's a touch to talk about children and a person having too many children is a touchy subject. But I had been thinking about it. Um, you know, I'm watching, I'm a YouTuber. I watch a lot of YouTube. And I'm watching these donations that are being given to people in Jamaica. And I look at these people. Their lives are so pathetic. And I'm saying they are so poor and yet still they're having kids after kids after kids after kids. And birth control is free. This is what I don't understand. Birth control is free. I could have have I could have had 10. I could have had 10. But I I made a conscious decision decision i knew that i would not have been able to cope and especially i had two boys and i heard i heard and i've seen where boys might be harder to control so i made the decision to focus on the two that i had so that i can make my life better and i can make the lives of my children better so that I was would, would have been able to send them to school. So I would have been able to, to feed them. So that I would have been able to make a roof over their heads. So that I would have been able to give them clothes. So that I would not have been able to depend on handouts. So that I would not have been able to depend on the government for anything. Even when times were hard, I still was able to cope with the little I had at the time because I made the conscious decision. I could focus on them so that they wouldn't go out there and commit crimes, that they wouldn't be on drugs, that they wouldn't um, be stealing, that they wouldn't be um, trying to kill, trying to to intimidate people, trying to kidnap people, or commit all those crimes that I am seeing that the young people are committing in Jamaica right now. Whose fault is it? I blame the parents. Yes, there is peer pressure. But if a person has a child... And don't focus on that child, say, for the first four or so years of the, the child's life. God help them. Because the house already gone through the gate. And this, you know, um, before COVID, I did not know that people were having so many children in Jamaica. I did not know that people were suffering so much in Jamaica. I pity the elderly. I pity the sick. But when someone says a woman of this or a woman of that, five children, six children, seven children, eight children, nine children, ten children, how can I? How can I, who could have found myself in the same situation, pity somebody like that, who sit around and have the children and wait on handouts? It's just like I am living in the United States now, and I don't pity anybody on welfare because you're on welfare. But you could go out there and work. You start having children. And because you go on there and you get assistance. You have another one. And you have another one. And you have another one. 
I can't pity people like those. And if I don't pity the people on welfare here, not because I am Jamaican, I don't see why I should pity those people who go out there and have nine, ten children and expect to get hand out. And have these sorry stories as if they had given anybody anything to put down. I'm speaking honestly and I'm speaking about how I feel and I may, might get back a lot of throwbacks and I might get people angry but if you should think sit and think about it it's true it's true I didn't know my grandmother by my father's side but I heard her story and the story was a sad one and remember in those days there were no birth control she had eight children for eight different men she was able to marry the father of the last child my father didn't go to school he went to school until he was nine years old because he had to go out there and help to raise all those children so I know I know from what I heard and my father would have been a very he was a very smart man so just I can just imagine if he had gotten the opportunity gotten the slightest opportunity what he would have made of his life And you're not, when you have all these children out there committing, they're, they're, they're not, you're robbing them of the things that they could have. It's easier to, easier to educate two children than to educate ten. So what happened to these children now? They don't have the education. They don't have nothing to do. So all they have to do is resort to crime. women should really sit and think it's their body they can't wait on men to do these things for them these young women of in jamaica now that are having all these children should really sit back and think you don't have to be able to can read and write to understand what poverty means instead of having four five six seven eight nine ten children it better you don't have nobody. It better you, you, you give up on man. Than have so many children and focus on your children. Because the children of today is the future of tomorrow. Yes. Yes. Some of the crimes or most of the crimes in Jamaica. caused by child's neglect you neglect a child and a child become an adult a child might feel less than a person a child might have some emotional issues yes this could be cause of it and as I say a lot of people might not like what I'm saying but I'm saying the truth and I'm just learning this, this past, since 2020. I'm beginning to learn that there are a lot of people out there with a lot of kids who needs a lot of help. They don't have jobs. Their jobs are just to have children. So guys, just share my YouTube video and I'll see you back here next time.